So what are all these gains and bevels and straights and everything else we keep talking about? Well, strakes are planks that run longitudinally from the bow to the stern of the boat. Now, most planks aren't long enough to actually do that, and so they end up having to be patched together in a lapped joint called a scarf. We have a number of scarfs on this boat. Every plank is scarfed together at some point to make it long enough to reach from one end of the boat to the other. At this point we've glued all the planks from the keel down through number seven. Leaves us eight and nine to do. And we decided since we're reaching the final stretch, we would do we would fit both eight and nine before gluing in case there needed to be some adjustments which we wouldn't be able to achieve if we just glued eight and then had to take all those adjustments out of nine. So that's where we are. These are all glued. Each plank has to be fit to the boat. And as you'll see here, originally they don't fit on the boat. They do forward and aft. You have to find the center where they want to go and this last plank is just being fit. Find a spot where it hangs over about the same on the forward end as it does on the aft, which we've done here already. And we've chosen to use drywall screws to hold it in place, but as you can see, it's gapped away from the next plank, unlike the rest of these. And the reason it's gapped away is because this plank sits on a slightly different angle than the one above it as they all do here. So to accommodate that with overlap planking, lap streak is what this is called, you put a bevel on the board above so that the board below fits flush against it. And that's what's been done here. And we're going to take this off to show you how that works. So this plank, which is glued on, is at its bottom edged beveled. And I think you can see from here down to here has been beveled. so that it's flush with the bulkhead at exactly the forward edge of the bulkhead. That's where we are right now. And that's a complicated way of saying that this plank will lay flat against both the bulkhead down here and the plank right above, which it's doing. Unlike this plank, which has not had a bevel put on it, when I lay it up against the bulkhead, it's held out by the lower edge of this plank here, which has not yet been beveled. How much material do we want to take off of the bottom of this plank to allow this plank, the newest plank, to sit back where it should be against a bevel. Well, obviously, we don't need to go any higher than this. But what shape? Actually, it is the, this negative space right here 
in reverse. So it's this deep on the bottom edge of this plank, this far down that plank, which we can reveal by pulling the plank away. So it's a triangle shape. Now here we're on the other side of the boat where we've actually removed the lowest plank so we can get at this bevel. Let's check. Since this edge of this bulkhead is what actually hits the new plank, the back edge is a little bit behind that, a little inside of that. This edge is what we will measure. And I think we pretty much got it. It's close. It's an eighth of an inch proud of where the bulkhead is. So it's got to go down an eighth. So we're getting close. Let's see how it is. Pretty close. Probably ought to stop. And then we connect these two with a uniform bevel, and that's the bevel in that area. Gains are a process, or a bevel, that's put on a plank to allow the planks to come in to the stem and the stern in our case, both stem and stern have posts on them like this, come to a point, and allow them to come into the stem and the stern and be, as you can see here, kind of parallel with it. If you don't put gains on and all you do is bevel, each plank will be stair-stepped into the stem and the stern and that makes the groove that you cut in the stem and the stern to accept the ends of the planks much more complicated. So traditionally the overlap which you see here just one full thickness is slowly taken out as you approach the stem and the stern to the point where it's almost flush. Where right back here at the first bulkhead you have almost a full plank overlap. So the, the gains are grooves put in the planks to make the overlap disappear as you approach the stem and the stern. So that's different than the bevel that's here. And we've got another plank over here, this one, to show you how we do that. That groove or bevel is taken back by choice, my choice, about one bulkhead. As you can see, it becomes a full width here. So it goes from half a plank to the straight bevel between the bow and the first bulkhead and the second last bulkhead and the stern. I've shifted that plank off of the boat and onto a nice flat surface where I can get at it. Working upside down and backwards is a little difficult. So This is much easier. This edge is supported all along. And when I plane it, it actually takes wood off of it.
So now we'll use this rabbit plane here to start the edge. And I'll start the edge by being 90 degrees to the board, to the plank. And then I'll tilt it out to about the 5 degrees that it's supposed to be when it's done. But that, starting it vertically, will give me a nice corner right there. As you can see, every pass I actually get wood. I'm almost halfway down there. That's pretty good. Okay, I've moved this plank back to the boat after beveling the bottom of it. We'll see how it works. Now here's the next plaque, plank being put back on the one I just beveled. And you can see now that the gap is much less and the plank is laying right where it should lay and in fact the gain I cut on plank number eight is accepting about half of the width of plank number nine so once I cut the gain the opposing gain on the top of nine that will disappear and you can also see I think that we're laying right flat on that edge right flat on that edge and the bevel right there and at this bulkhead same thing. And So where it's hitting 
is right back in here where my finger is touching. Let's try that. better. Nice tight fit there. Plank 8 and the shear clamp. There's the shear clamp and there's plank 8 are glued on both boats and all that's left is the whiskey plank. Number nine.